Okay. So now I'm sharing my screen. Let me know if it's visible to you. Okay. I think it's visible to you, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, now uh, there are some abbreviations which we use uh, while studying ICT and computers. So uh, computer is, you know, what uh, it signifies. C stands for common. O stands for operating. M stands for machine. P stands for purposely used. U for used and T for technological, E for educational, and R for research. This is the one of the uh, uh, abbreviation of computer. Otherwise, computer basically made of the word compute. Compute means, you know, to calculate. And uh, ENIAC, this is the name of one of the computer. Uh, which generation have you? Uh, both actually you don't have that table okay so any extent for electronic numerical integration automatic computer and any is a first generation computer all right univac and uh, anyway i think both are uh, first generation computer and univac is universal automatic computer Sometimes they may ask, it's just for your knowledge. And ADVAC, ADVAC is for Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. C stands for computer, all right? CDC is Change Data Capture. PDP is Program Data Processor. Fortran is one of the language uh, which is used for, for programming uh, the various you know, uh, instructions. So Fortran means formula translation. COBOL is again uh, a language uh, for programming. So COBOL is common business oriented programming language. Pascal is another language. Basic is another language. Pascal is programming language based on Blaze Pascal. Pascal is uh, this thing and basic is beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code algol is al algorithm uh, algorithmic language and ibm we all know it's a big company and the full form of ibm is international business machine java is again uh, a high level language that is just another virtual accelerator. The full form of this abbreviated term is just another virtual accelerator. And SQL is uh, the structured query language. So uh, some uh, abbreviated forms, uh, if you know uh, and remember, then it's good. I mean, FTTP like that uh, one question is there at this time now oh, there are so FTTP, many uh, FTTP, we'll, we'll see FTTP. ah that we'll uh, learn when we uh, go through uh, this tcp protocols and all then we'll okay, have that. yeah uh, we have just covered you know uh, the which language used in which generation and which computer is uh, the product of you know uh, which generation so only those things are covered here okay now the components of a computer this is uh, again an important thing they may ask about uh, memory units or uh, arithmetic logic unit or some input devices and input devices and uh, some uh, are input and output both so they may, you know, club all together and uh, give options of, you know, which combination of the choices are correct. So you have to uh, mention that correct option, most correct option. Mm -hmm. 
so uh, this is uh, you can say uh, a block diagram of a computer first input device then some processing unit and then output device basically this three input through which you give instructions or uh, you know command to the computer what you want from that device you know what result you want from the device so how you enter those instructions so through the mouse keyboard etc there are many many devices we'll see later and then there is a processing unit which processes your instructions or set of commands and gives some results so in this central processing unit because it is in the central it is in between input and output devices so it is a central processing unit and this central processing unit uh, basically has control unit which controls all input devices output devices all memory uh, devices and the unit which you know has the arithmetic and logic unit means um, set of instructions given there and they uh, according to the need they select those instructions from the memory and then they process the data so arithmetic and logic unit was there and memory unit which stores uh, the set of you know instructions which we call already uh, the software installed in this uh, computer or a particular machine as per your need all right so and uh, they store the input commands given by you they store the result uh, which is coming out and so this is a storage device or you can see memory unit so basically central processing unit covers three uh, major units control unit, arithmetic and logic unit, and memory unit. And then after processing the data, after you know some logical functions, some arithmetic functions, and whatever software they are having, uh, it is having like uh, in a particular machine, they give you the result. Now for result, they, uh, there are some display units, or if you want some result in a print form, in a hardware form, uh, so there should be a printer which is attached to your computer and you will find you know whatever you want it can be you can print it so some through some output unit you will get the result whatever you want now see what are the devices so they will give you you know some name and uh, they ask what are the input devices or output devices so to, for feeding the instructions or data into computer machine, it is done by using some hardware devices. Now, during this uh, process, which we give, which you know, uh, the customer or the user gives to the computer, that is that data is uh, referred to as input to a computer machine. <clears throat> While the device or hardware used to, you know, Input the data, it is referred to as input device or input unit. And uh, this uh, input device can be you know, divided into different categories. It may be a pointing device. It may be in the form of keyboard. And uh, you, it can be in the form of your voice. So, uh, or some drawing device, some scanners some recognition devices, maybe, you know, a camera or something like that, which recognize uh, your face or sometimes your, uh, your fingerprints. So uh, the most common uh, input devices of the computer system, it is given here, keyboard, mouse, joysticks, when, you know, somebody wants to play games, you know, uh, they don't have time to be on the keyboard. They just move the stick as per uh, you know the they want to play so joystick uh, is there and trackball is also there which is uh, again uh, for the slight movement it moves the cursor here and there then scanner if you want to uh, give you know uh, some picture or some text or some graphic to the 
as an input to the device for storing or for you know um, like for some change you want to make in it so you can scan that like your important documents you can scan so uh, scanner is again an input device then touch screen touch screens means uh, with your finger you can uh, you know open the device and uh, like that and webcam webcam is also there through which you can uh, send your picture or anything microphone your voice like it is uh, you know uh, given to the computer for the further processing or for you know um, like you can record your uh, own voice um, some uh, song or you know, anything uh, and then you can uh, make refined or you know through some processing you can make it more uh, like uh, in a refined way you can present it to others then the functions of input devices now because input devices you know uh, perform essential functions for the computer so uh, they are the important part of uh, a system so basically they are electro mechanical device mechanical device means uh, which is something you know which you can see and you can uh, have access to those uh, devices and they are electro uh, electronically uh, made like that uh, um, circuitry and all the components which are used they are electronics uh, based computers uh, sorry systems or devices you can say because they work in a you know a few volts like two three four five volts they work so all the electronic devices work uh, within just such range so they help the user you know to uh, give input in a raw uh, raw manner to the computer and computer uh, do not understand the data in a raw format so there are some you know uh, uh, circuitry or some format to convert this raw data into appropriate format or appropriate language which computer can understand so that can be uh, you know made by some uh, circuitry so examples we have seen there are several input devices available uh, so these uh, basically you are giving to uh, whether it is in the form of a picture or text or uh, audio or a video or some set of instructions in, in the form of you know you can type on a keyboard and uh, give to the computer he just do this so you have to enter this uh, root or raw data into the computer and each device has its own function own circuitry on benefits and drawbacks too so uh, like we have seen keyboard is the primarily used input device from the earlier first generation to not in the first generation they are having some uh, other form of you know, input devices but uh, yes yeah, second third generation we are having the keyboards so which uh, helps to enter the data or set of instructions or commands to the computer and uh, you are familiar with the keyboard it is uh, uh, also shown on the screen so this is uh, more or less identical to the uh, traditional typewriter so but it is having some additional keys and some of the keys are not uh, present on the computer keyboard so uh, a normal keyboard usually uh, has you know variety of keys alphabet some characters and uh, numbers and some function keys arrow keys and control keys command keys and so on then mouse mouse is somewhat easier version you know uh, and most commonly used very popular pointing device it's a pointing device so you can point the cursor at a particular uh, uh, place and uh, this computer understand what you want and click over there so that helps you know to interact with a computer 
point and click. So this is mainly used to uh, move uh, a person on whole computer screen. And you can click at the corresponding object or any particular point uh, using this button, left, right, middle, up and down, wherever you want to. So uh, previously, my mouse used as an integrated ball and you know roller uh, kind of a mechanical mouse. But nowadays, uh, the modern mouse uses optical technology, laser, to control or track the movement of the cursor. And uh, we have touch screen also on a, just a small pad on your uh, laptop. And you can, uh, with the, your fingers, you can control the cursor. Laser also, uh, it's a, it is this called uh, optical mouse, which is uh, not connected through the wire, but it is like you can um, move your cursor at your uh, comfort zone, at your uh, comfortable position, not uh, very much, you know, uh, connected to the uh, computer through a wire, some mechanical means. Then joystick is again a pointing device for playing games on computer. We are using it to control the various characters or vehicles or whatever there in the particular game. Then touchpad, we are using touchpad uh, or you can say trackpad. All right. And this is also an input device to move uh, or to control the movement of the cursor. You can say it is again a pointing device. And uh, it is, uh, yes, you can say it is an alternative to a mouse and helps to uh, make the computer device more compact, small, and lightweight. So, no need you know, to have a separate. Uh, thing or a separate uh, device which we call mouse. So it is in the uh, organized in a, a same uh, equipment, you can say. Then light pen or pointing devices. A light pen is another pointing device that has same uh, structure as a pen, but function is uh, like the mouse does or the touch screen does, just to control the cur cursor on the screen. So uh, this light pen is a light sensitive device, which consists of a photo cells and optical system placed in a small tube, like the tube is look like a pen. So it is mainly used to select on screen items or you can uh, write it or draw pictures, um, you know, so, with the tip of this light pen, when it is moved on the computer screen or on your uh, mobile phones, also you are having, you know, uh, that uh, we call uh, so the tip of the light pen is moved on the computer screen and then. Uh, the button on the pen is pressed and the photo cell which senses this uh, element, it detects the screen location and sends the corresponding signal to the CPU. That's how it works. So it's, uh, you can say uh, this helps the CPU to detect the uh, movement of the pointer uh, on the screen and where it is clicking. So accordingly, uh, it can process uh, the things which is you know sensed by uh, uh, this pen to the on the screen. Then some uh, you know pencil or pen like structure which we call stylus, which is also an input device, and it is used to again the same way as uh, uh, we seen earlier the uh, light pen. So draw and write on the surface of digitizer or touch screens. So uh, it is introduced for digitizers and PDAs. The PDAs are what? Yeah. 
anyone? Madam, normally in the touch screen we use this one. Now in the digital platforms, the lecturers normally using this one, like use write something on the board like that. You can we have, have seen this thing. Uh, it's a personal digital assistance. Uh, it's, it's again a screen, yes, somewhat like that. So. Um, nowadays you can get stylus in some of your uh, smartphones or as well you can write uh, you know on the screen you know uh, some text or uh, some figure you can make of your own tablets also or uh, pads also ipad also you know so uh, instead of fingers you can use uh, this stylus so this is because it can result in better accuracy and you know prevent uh, your touch of your finger because sometimes it is um, your finger is not very clean you know um, it may be oily or some greasy so it may scratch on uh, on your the you know surface of the device so just prevent it this uh, stylus is introduced by some of the companies or on some of the you know models of uh, uh, like laptops and iPad or you know, uh, mobile phones. Then touch screens we have seen you know portable devices, smartphones, notebooks, tablets. They are having touch screen. Uh, this is just to you know using your fingers you can move. Uh, the cursor here and there then microphone you can attach you know some mic extra mic um, maybe you know for the recording of your uh, uh, you can say if you sing or uh, some of your uh, maybe interested in you know uh, in music playing some instrument so that type of uh, you can record uh, on your uh, device using this microphone or you can read some text or some books you know. so these uh, uh, the sound waves they convert again this is in analog in nature so these sound waves they are converted into electrical signals and then they do digital version so like that they are stored and not you have to be into much detail and then digital camera. Digital camera uh, is again uh, input device. It captures the images and videos, and then uh, you know allow the user to store this captured media file in a memory card, and then you can transfer them to the computer or to other device. So like that, uh, uh, it's not like uh, traditional cameras which we use in earlier days. So digital cameras, uh, you know, use an image sensor chip to capture the images rather than the film. Uh, in earlier days, you might have seen, the, you know, the role of uh, they, they always, uh, you know, uh, have the uh, film role in the camera. And it's having a very limited uh, uh, capacity to capture the pictures. And you have to, uh, if it is full, then you have to change that role again and again and in that also you know the people were very careful he, you have to they have to you know uh, click only the important pictures nowadays they uh, people click so many pictures and after that they delete whatever they don't want to. so in earlier days when they use because uh, that film was uh, you know it's a it's a costly affair you can say and they have to develop in a uh, dark room and a long process to see those pictures so and uh, costly also and time consuming also but nowadays digital cameras they are uh, you everybody is having the camera in their uh, mobile phones so it's very easy to capture so many images so many pictures and then they um, delete whatever they don't want to store so it's easy nowadays and also 
And there are many advanced digital cameras which have you know many effects and you know the captured media as well as you know they allow many options like uh, zoom and preview and delete you can send it and there are many more things then web cameras web cameras they uh, you know capture image and videos and convert again into digital form and uh, slightly they are different from the digital uh, camera because uh, this webcams cannot operate independently you know they should be connected to the computer their processing unit is in the computer so they don't have you know inbuilt memory uh, in itself so this computer has to store or ca capture the data which this video camera is capturing or uh, you can see then uh, MICR. MICR is magnetic ink card reader. This card reader you have seen in many places. So this magnetic ink card reader, you know, that typically reads the characters or text that are printed on a paper using the ink, which contains the particle of magnetic material. So this device is mainly used in, you know, banks to read the check number or bank code and to send the signal to the computer to process a valid check. So this reading process is magnetic ink character recognition, MICR. And this is an input device. It is very useful, you know, processing a large number of checks in a short duration with 100% accuracy. So MICR, that is magnetic ink card reader. Then there are OCR. OCR optical character reader optical means like you know the optical uh, this ocr are again uh, it's an input device because it is used to read the handwritten or printed text and then it is converted into a digital text but it scans the document like a scanner one by one like from uh, one end to whole line then second line to the end and third line like that it scan the document uh, completely and convert them into two colored uh, bitmap version usually black and white and then light scanned areas are considered as uh, you know uh, background and dark areas are considered as characters because it is written in a particular uh, ink so uh, those would Characters are written, they are considered as dark areas and uh, other areas, it is assumed to be a uh, like uh, empty one. So they make out the, what are the characters. That's why it is uh, optical character reader. Through the light, they recognize the character, whatever is printed on the uh, document. Then uh, there are barcode readers. We are uh, frequently seen in shops and all. They read uh, barcode. Barcode scanner they have uh, that you know, wherever you uh, you know uh, give your bills and all. So they uh, they use this barcode scanner. The so barcode reader is uh, or a scanner. It is again input device because it reads the barcode, the information about that particular item. So uh, the data written, uh, they are uh, in the you know various uh, thickness of uh, lines, the vertical lines, dark and light lines. So barcodes are usually printed on various items for labeling details. And this is also uh, known as POS point of sale scanner all right so barcode reader is an example of pos means point of scan uh, point of sale scanner again there are q a qr code scan uh, scanner or uh, reader qr code is again uh, a some code the you know uh, some encrypted uh, code uh, which again uh, has the you know the, all the information about that item. So this uh, scanner or reader 
just read that uh, you know QR code, which is uh, computer generated patterns, because to for you know to store and hold the uh, modest amount of data about that item. So they don't require you know a database to store information separately. So they are uh, similar like a barcode reader, but in barcode the bars are main which is are of uh, you know different thickness of uh, vertical lines and qr code it is uh, generated by the computer and uh, some um, abrupt or random pattern was uh, there then there are omr omr you must be very much familiar with i think you might have given some examinations of o on o OMR sheets, some competitive examinations. Earlier, uh, we used to fill this OMR sheet, that is the optical mark reader. You have to just, you know, uh, there are uh, small circles. You have to uh, fill those uh, circles, particular by the pencil or a uh, black pen, or as, uh, you know, instructed. So OMR sheet, again, it is an input device. The sheet is just, uh, you know, inserted into a particular scanner and the computer reads uh, all the information and all the, you know, uh, you can say the marks, which uh, uh, you can say whoever is, uh, you know, enter, uh, applied for that particular examination point of view or any other uh, selection procedure. So they read all the um, information on that OMR sheet and then uh, identifies this mark, which are created by uh, using a pencil or a pen. So they uh, give the marks accordingly. So it is uh, mainly used you know, to verify the answers from the answer sheet. There is an answer sheet, which is a correct one. And they just compare the two and give the marks. So uh, generally, it is used, you know, for a multiple choice uh, MCQs, you can say. So it is very easy to, uh, you know, uh, for the examiner to uh, evaluation purpose, purposes, you can say, or to move the results. It is very fast because manually, if you do uh, one by one, there are so many uh, like in lakhs of people entered a particular examination. Then it's very difficult to manage and also uh, not uh, uh, secure or you can say uh, um, not, you know, you can't rely on manual checking because it is, uh, if it is a very uh, important exam or competitive exam. So uh, it's not uh, the fair way to, uh, you know, uh, give the results on that uh, manner. So through the computer, it is uh, quite hassle-free and uh, also very much fair. So uh, there is a simple uh, way to differentiate between the input device and output device. So here it is shown on the um, chart. It's very easy to understand. And there are some devices which are common. Uh, they can be used as an input device also, and they can be used as an output device uh, also, like your digital camera, pen drives. You can give input to the device, to the computer. And you can take out some of the files or text or, you know, something, whatever you want to, uh, into your uh, pen drive. So it, it acts as an input and output device both. Then touch screen. Then uh, this CD, DVD, you can uh, uh, give input or whatever you want to, like, if you want to listen some music or movie, you can put some CD or DVD. And also you can write or, you know, uh, there are some DVDs to, on which you can copy those uh, data in, from the computer uh, to your CD or DVD. And web cameras, then uh, fax machines, and modems. Modems means uh, which we use, modulator and demodulator, because it 
provides uh, the signal uh, from outside to uh, you and also from you to the outside or uh, wherever you want to send it. So that's why they are input and output both. Then there are some uh, output devices. Uh, again, uh, it's a set of uh, instruments or hardware uh, components that retrieve data from your computer system and then translates this received data into the form which uh, a, a user can understand, like we human can understand, because we can't understand the machine language or anything which computer understands. We just want that output uh, in uh, the desired form as we want. So uh, to make it understandable to uh, the human, there are some devices which we call output devices. So most common output devices, uh, they may be in the form of text or visuals or audio or a hard copy or a printed paper, you can say. So uh, there are various devices for that. So output units uh, or output devices, they, you can uh, uh, say, one or the other, they are the same thing. And uh, they are termed as peripheral devices or auxiliary devices. Peripheral means it is, you know, somewhat, some devices you can attach to the computer. Computer is uh, a single frame, a single unit. If you are attaching or you are, you know, connecting some devices externally, apart from your system, then it is auxiliary devices. So some of the examples, uh, like each device has its own function, merits and demerits. So commonly uh, used uh, output devices are a simple device, which we are using now at present, that is the screen or a monitor. And if you want something, you know, to print uh, whatever uh, is there in your computer, then you need a printer. You have to attach uh, a different device to your computer or uh, speakers. If you want to, you know, hear some um, music or something. Uh, so you need to attach speakers to the, your computer or headphones, right? And uh, if you project your uh, thing or your uh, work or your uh, file or whatever you are uh, you want to project to some uh, other people on a large projector, if there are so many people and you want to, you know, uh, give presentation or uh, watch movie, anything, so you need uh, some projector. Then touch screen, touch screen. There may be you know some other device some other pad you can attach and plotters plotters are generally used uh, if uh, you want to print some uh, you know graphic uh, thing or uh, some pictures on a large uh, paper on a large uh, you can say uh, like uh, display you know you can say. so plotters are used then gps system you can attach you know, global positioning system, some devices you have to attach externally. So uh, monitors earlier, they are cathode ray tube type and they may be a flat screen type, which we use nowadays, LED, LCD. And earlier they, uh, there was a cathode ray tube, some bigger version, some, uh, you know, extended version, you can see at the back. So the most common example of output device is a monitor, you know, display unit. So this is also known as VDU. Sometimes they ask what is the full form of VDU. They give some, you know, list A and uh, list two, like match the columns and all. So there they give VDU, what is VDU? So visual display unit. So it consists of a several components like screens or circuitry, power supplies, you know, some buttons, some keys, like that. So we are not going into much details, but you should know earlier the monitors uh, were CRT. CRT means cathode ray tube uh, type. 
and there uh, they uh, use the cathode ray you know to did uh, that cathode cathode ray just uh, uh, at a very high voltage it uh, uh, just strikes on the at the back side of uh, your screen and there the pixels and the picture elements they get illuminated so they produce the image as per the uh, ray strikes at that particular point so the uh, that image is generated on the uh, uh, screen or the monitor you can say so uh, that is the uh, you know video signal you can say we can have we can see earlier the tv was also using the same screen same monitor crt and computers also the same crt version but nowadays tvs are also of led or lcd and uh, the computer screens are also of flat you know panel displays we are having nowadays uh, calculators or uh, you know portable video games laptops monitors smart watches or many other uh, digital devices they all are having the flat panels that is the liquid crystal technology lcd and led liquid crystal and light emitting diodes led uses uh, you know various diodes led small small leds so and this is the liquid crystal lcd or a plasma we can say technology so these are the types of monitors which are in use earlier it is cathode ray tube nowadays lcd and led and then the plasma display ma'am next it is changed to qled and oled ma'am sorry say it again q l e d and o l e d okay next generation next generation okay q l e d and o l e d all right what stands for q n o that is the technology but i i'm not sure but the two things were no i'll just let you uh, update you in the message okay q n o okay i'll find that q l e d o l e d Q and O, right? Yeah. Okay. Then printers. Again, we are very much familiar with this uh, uh, device printer. It is a most common example of our device. Q L E D means quantum dot light emitting diode, ma'am. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll tell you the O L E D also. Uh huh. Uh -huh. all right so if you want you know some uh, organic light emitting diode ma'am i'll message in the group okay, okay. so uh, if you want to you know some hard copy or hard print or on your paper if you want some information from the computer you can print it uh, by using the printer by attaching you know some a device which prints the material so uh, this is printer then touch screens are again uh, output devices such you know the various devices due to use of uh, you know portable one so lightweight uh, panel developed to receive the output from the computer in particular the touch screen uh, is a touch sensitive surface or a monitor you can say or uh, that display the visuals or graphics so uh, we are using it nowadays uh, in a laptop or a smartphone uh, or tablet so uh, this is uh, uh, input device as well as output device both then projectors you know if you want to display uh, your uh, work or your uh, uh, presentation or some movies on a large screen then you can use this uh, projector and then speakers and sound card and all so all those things headphones you can hear you know uh, the music or whatever uh, if you want to hear some recorded lecture or anything from uh, the computer to directly to your ears not uh, heard by anyone else you can use headphones 
then video cards are also uh, there uh, for you know uh, with regular video and graphic capabilities images so uh, there are various uh, you know gen generally it is for the gaming uh, computers and laptops so these cards are available then uh, gps system gps is uh, you know just to um, it is nowadays it is a very important feature in your mobile whether it is a mobile whether it is your vehicle or your laptop so that you know where your uh, machine or your device or your uh, vehicle is so we put uh, this circuitry a small circuitry gps global positioning system it is again a radio based navigation system consisting of a network of multiple satellites connected through a gps satellites so it gives information it tracks your device so sometimes if you uh, you know search something they uh, you know the laptop or your mobile phone there is uh, you know some window opens and says uh, want to share your location so that location is uh, shared by you know the system global positioning system which is tracked again it is connected your device is connected to the satellite that is the gps satellites so uh, it uses a system of about uh, 31 satellites at a time you know to uh, give the correct location of your device located in a you know uh, in a space to provide the accurate results so these satellites use microwave signals to connect. Obviously, some signals are there, but they are uh, these signals are in microwave frequency range to interact with the GPS devices. Then Braille reader, uh, this is uh, specially developed for the blind people to read the content or the text, you know, from the computer screen. So. Uh, Again, the computer sends the signal to this reader and it converts them into braille letters in the form of, you know, some pins embossed on a flat surface. So that way it works. Then it, uh, there is speed generating devices, um, which are again an output device that helps to, you know, generate voice output from the text. Uh, all right. If you uh, ask something, they, uh, the output comes in the form of audio or uh, version so speech generating devices they are known as speech synthesizers or vo voice output communication aids so uh, these devices are widely used uh, in telephone exchanges when you receive you know some announcement uh, this line is busy or uh, not reachable or uh, you know uh, switched off or something like that so uh, Sometimes they are used, you know, for the treatment of light and new people as well. Then plotters. Plotters are, again, it is identical to printers, but uh, it is used, you know, to print uh, uh, vector graphics with high quality. Like if you uh, need, you know, in some of the, uh, you can say, in a designing uh, field or... Uh, uh, if you are an artist or you know if like something uh, in such a profession so you need some uh, graphical version of uh, or you can say uh, some of the thing which are very uh, much uh, uh, more uh, you can say uh, uh, with a very uh, finely uh, detailed version of anything which you have in your computer computer because a uh, printer can print some of the things but not uh, the quality is not very fine so uh, plotters are specially designed you know to catch uh, a simple simple minute details of that graphic so uh, it is having some advanced features you can say and uh, also you can print on cardboard or film or fabric you know, there are various ways uh, uh, to use these plotters, you know, for textile designing or for filmmaking. So many other things, many uh, other fields they are using, uh, they can use this plotter. Okay, so we'll end here.
and we'll start the next topic tomorrow so that much is enough input and output devices we have covered and we'll uh, study cpu tomorrow it's a uh, tomorrow ganesh puja okay you want uh, off tomorrow i don't know ma'am just i'm asking no i have no problem to take the class if you are having some uh, like if you are engaged somewhere or uh, if you want uh, no class so let me know 